Hey, what's going on, guys? It's JP, Vintage Muscle, back again. All right. So today we're going to do a little something different. Uh, I noticed on the Facebook page, a lot of people have questions about how to cycle their stacks. What stacks match up to what to get what body type or whatever. So today, not only I'm going to show you what stacks go together, I'm going to show you how to go to it. Okay, guys, before we jump to this thing, make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Also, comment, let me know if there's anything I need to do uh, to add into the videos, make some changes. Like I say, it's all new to me, so I'm trying to adjust also. Um, it's hard trying to explain it to regular people. You know what I mean? <laughs> so let me know is a better way for me to explain it to you and i will adjust to do that because i want you to get the understanding that's the purpose of this so if i was just doing it just for me then that that's not helping you so i'm here to help you understand this so make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll get the next videos i also post the videos to the bait to the page the vintage muscle community facebook page so you can also, once you become a member or just join the page, you know, if you start buying a product, go to the page, click on it, and you also can ask questions and also and things of that nature. Always go to the source, guys. All right, go to the page, www.vintage-muscle.com. Always go to the source, guys. All right, now once you get on the page, you will see at the top, it says buy now, reviews, YouTube, community support, and FAQ. That's frequently asked questions. Go to the FAQ, click. All right, now, once you get on this page, go down to Start a kit for beginners. All right, now once you're on the page, too easy again, you will see on the page, make sure it has the start a kit for beginners on it. You want to scroll down to recommended cycles and combinations. All right. Click on it. Too simple. Too simple. Now you will come up. It says recommended cycles and combinations. And if you go down through it, you will see all different types of stack combinations. Beginners, intermediate, and you have the advanced. So today I'm going to discuss three of the stacks. It's going to be a two-part video. So I don't spend and make it super long. So I'm going to discuss uh, three stacks, the beginners and parts, maybe intermediate, but most going to be on the beginner side. Cause I want, it might be three parts to it. Who knows? But I want to start out at the beginning. All right. So a lot of us like to skip over things and jump to this is where I want to be at the end. So I'm going to overlook how to get there. You know, you guys are like, I need to lose 40 pounds, but I also want to gain muscle. And you got two stacks, super mass, and then something that's going to drastically cut weight. It's not going to hit like this, and it's going to happen all together. So you got to work this thing out, and you got to give yourself time. I always tell everybody, give your body 90 days to make changes. If you want to see changes, give yourself 90 days. If you ever look at any workout program or whatsoever, they'll say 90 to 120 days will make you boom. Because the body will make those changes within three to four months. Not one month, not 20 days, 45 days. You will see some changes, but the changes aren't there for long term. That's why a lot of guys are like, man, I got sick for, for a week and a half and I lost everything. Because your body hadn't adjusted yet. So let's jump to it and here we go guys. Okay guys, let's get to it. So the first uh, cycle I wanna start with 
is that begin like I said. So it will be the beginner's cutting cycle. And as for you guys who are looking to lose weight, a lot of you guys like to bulk up and then say you're going to cut down, which is hard to do. But that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do, right? So to lose the weight, you have to do a, some type of diet, guys. You can't still eat the same and, it's, and expect the product to work for you. The product is there to help you. So use the product the way it's designed and you'll lose the weight. But you also got to you got to change the way you eat and you got to do a little cardio. All right. Now, using the cycle, what you want to purchase before you start, look at I wish we can get everybody to go to this first before you buy things. But if not, next time around, you want to get the alpha test stack. The anabolic shred stack. And you want to get the muscle support stack. Now, you will use the alpha test stack and the anabolic shred stack together. When you hit four weeks, after the fourth week, going into the fifth week, around that middle, you want to start your muscle support stack. Now, let's say you want to do your your um the cutting stack for eight weeks eight eight and a half weeks all right so you want to do your muscle support it's just as long and see the thing is in your fourth week you can uh, after your fourth week you can start the muscle support and take it while you're also using your the alpha stack and the uh, antibot shred stack for the last four weeks. But your muscle support will continue after your eight weeks. Now, the main things you need to pay attention to. On these stacks in the charts, you're just looking at the colors and you're looking at the, the names. Also look at what's the dosage. They have it on here. Again, Go to the source right here. One milliliter a day. So that's one vial a day under the tongue. Hold it 30 seconds or more. Same thing, anabolic shred stack. Now, some people's like, do I have to wait a long time to take it or after each other? No, you really don't. Because I, I actually asked that question one time to Jared. And they said, no, you don't really have to. You can take it back to back. Um, but you still want to hold it. I don't know what the big rush to try to put it all together, but you know, you take a drop. I would do one, let that kind of ease off, maybe walk around the house or something for about maybe five minutes, then I do the other one. But all is done maybe about 30, 45, 30, 40 minutes before I do my workout. So it's, it's in the system. Now, even when you get to your muscle support stack, it's going to be the same thing one milliliter all right because this is a beginner stack guys so stay on that for your eight weeks okay so that's what i want to make sure i want to hit on that real hard because i myself was guilty of that when i first started i wasn't looking at the doses on the charts i was just looking at the stacks and the time frame and when to take it i was looking at the dosage so make sure you look at the dose and it'll tell you because a lot of guys you had these questions how many do i need to do how many can i take it when and where i mean you guys have a million questions and we're trying to get to them and answer as much as possible so maybe the video will help you know jared also is doing videos on the youtube page so check him out on the actual youtube page all right i don't know if they're going to post these to the page or not um but i will post them to the facebook group all right so let's move on okay so we're just going to move on to the next one which would be the intermediate cutting cycle and as you see it's pretty much set up the same way same time frame and everything the same three uh vials so you'll do two alpha tests um two milliliters alpha tests the same anabolic shred stack and then you're going to do 
two muscle support. Now that's two per day. And, and honestly guys, the only difference in that cycle is you went from beginners with one millimeter, the intermediate is two. So you'll take it twice a day versus once a day. Everything else set up the same. So it's no big difference on that. Just look at the chart, it'll tell you. All right, so now what is a small difference is when we move up to the advanced. Now with the advanced, everything is still the same. You're gonna do two milliliters, two milliliters, two milliliters, except you're gonna add the one and draw stack. And you're gonna do this stack for the eight weeks at one milliliter a day. That's the difference. So look at the chart. The chart will tell you exactly how you need to take this. So if you're trying to advance your cutting cycle, this is what you'll need to do. You will have the alpha test stack two milliliter, the anabolic shred stack two milliliter, uh, the support stack two milliliter, and the andros, the one andros stack one milliliter. All right. So if you just follow the chart, can't go wrong, guys. So you don't have to keep asking all the questions and people coming on giving off wrong information. So that's why we try and do these videos to get the proper and correct information out to you guys. I'm just kind of tired of seeing guys just putting shit on there because they that's what they're taking. But your stacks don't make sense. So let's put some science behind the sense and put this thing together right. And let's stop. If you don't know, don't tell people. Refer them to the page, the FAQ section on the beginners, and it'll bring you right to it. And that's why I did it like this. Now, my next video will be on um, the bulking and all that. I know you guys want to get big. So the next video will be more on that stuff, getting lean and getting bulked. All right. So until then, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And that's it. It's JP with Vintage Muscle, and I'm out of here. Time for me to go do my thing. Y'all take care. Peace.